All right, guys, here we go. But first, a couple of disclaimers. Uh, first of all, for any law enforcement watching, all of this was filmed in Mexico. And the second uh, disclaimer, disclosure, is that uh, we do not approve of, endorse, or encourage any type of aggressive uh, street riding, even if it is in Mexico. Okay, guys, the whole purpose of this video is to show you, even if someone had, uh, had given you a 1,000cc motorcycle or you, you know, worked your butt off and earned it and paid for it or came into it somehow, some way, you're not just going to be able to jump on it and uh, within, you know, a couple of weeks, couple of months, even three to six months, be able to ride like that, okay? It takes a lot of time in the seat. Uh, experience and skills and I correlate that to um, training investing you know people work their butts off uh, earn a you know a pretty good little nest egg and then they throw it in the market and they see other people you know clicking a mouse and making money and they they think it's that easy and it's really not you need to you know spend time you know educating yourself uh, you know wherever that may be number one number two uh, sit back don't you know want to Put the full throttle on you know as soon as you get your um, nest egg uh, to invest you want to keep it slow uh, just like you know riding a motorcycle start off you know like in your neighborhood going slow practicing stopping at the stop signs you know turning left turning right doing u-turns uh, you know basically learning all the slow skills of the, of the motorcycle okay and then same with trading, you know, start off, you know, with the daily chart, you know, don't try to go uh, on a two minute, five minute, whatever, uh, smaller time frame chart, uh, you know, trying to uh, day trade that way or what have you, because this two minute, this is, you know, Bitcoin, if you didn't notice in uh, two minute chart, every candle is two minutes of price action and competing in this arena is like, you know, going from t-ball or coach pitch to you know professional fast pitch okay so you don't want to be in that game and and, and and second of all which ought to be the first priority is getting your safety gear okay before you even buy a motorcycle you need to get all your safety gear first because i know what happens you you know you buy the bike and then uh you know you're short on money after doing that so you scrimp on you know good quality uh gear so gear should be the first thing and the correlation that has to uh investing is that your stop loss and the amount of money 
you're going to put at risk on each trade needs to be uh, lowered, okay? Say you saved up, you know, 10,000, you know, 20,000 on every single trade you made. You're not going to put all the entire 10,000, 20,000 in there. It should be a very, very small amount. And then mentally um, either have a dollar amount that you're not going to lose or some other way. We, you know, have all this laid out for our Patreon members. It makes it a lot easier for them. So, yeah, the first thing uh, is your safety gear. I mean, you can still get killed, uh, uh, you know, on the motorcycle or financially killed in the market uh, if you don't have your stop set up and, uh, you know, use a small amount of your risk capital uh, per trade. You should be scaling in, you know, a uh, small percentage each time on the way out. That's how the professionals do. That's how institutions do. They don't take all you know 10 million 100 million whatever they have and slam it down on apple you know on each trade or or go short each trade you know with with their whole allotment that would really screw up the market so you know you need to play it like that in other words be safe go in slow uh just because you think you know how to do it doesn't mean you you really know how to do it and uh yeah you know spend the first few weeks in the neighborhood and then uh, venture out onto, uh, you know, slower moving streets, okay? And then the last thing you do are these, you know, two, four, five minute charts or highways uh, on your bike, okay? And hopefully I didn't totally confuse you all on all this. I'm just saying, yeah, it takes experience to do any type of skill. I mean, I, you know, could have, Taking some shots of us at, uh, you know, at, at Top Golf, for example, okay, or on the golf course. I mean, that takes good. You're not going to go out there, you know, buy a bag of clubs, um, you know, get your clothes together and, sh you know, your shoes and go out, you know, to the country club or wherever and uh, take on Tiger Woods, all right? You're not going to play like him. You're not even going to come close to it, okay? But seriously, this investing and trading, uh, you can get very good at it, okay? I mean, yeah, but it's, it's just going to take probably a little bit more time than you want. Uh, you know, it's like, like going into Vegas and, and well, it kind of is if you don't play or play the game right. And, uh, but, you know, go slow, uh, have those safety parameters. In other words, a small amount of initial uh, capital on each trade and then have that freaking stop loss there. I mean, that's like, uh, most important break on your motorcycle is a front brake, believe it or not. Okay. And people with no experience will tell you, Oh, the back brake, you don't want to use the front brake because, uh, they'll flip you over the top. Well, they're not applying. See, that's the trick. They're not applying that front brake. Yeah. We just did a little break out here. See if we can confirm over this, uh, Blue dash line. Okay, I got distracted. Squirrel. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, so you want to have a, you know, uh, definitely a stop loss on, you know, even if you're doing a daily chart, weekly chart. That's probably what I would do. I don't know if people have the patience to sit there for a whole week, but if I was, you know, seriously starting out someone, I'd probably have them, you know, watch that weekly chart. Do that for a you know a few weeks, then a daily, you know, and start making it small, you know, smaller time frame, smaller time frame, so on and so forth. So, yeah, just those safety deals, and also regarding the motorcycle, like in traffic, I can see it a red light if somebody knows what they're doing or not on a motorcycle. If they don't know what they're doing, they're going to be right in the center of the car in front of them. Okay, and both both feet are going to be on the ground, their hands are going to be all in the air. And that means having a neutral, and if a car comes up behind them, which happens but more than, than, you know, than you would think, doesn't see them for whatever, and all of a sudden you hear gravel scraping behind you because they're slamming their brakes, and you're going to be, you know, the, the sam you know, you're going to be the meat between, <laughs> between the bread of the, of the car in back of you and the car in front of you. So, yeah, you want the left foot down, you want to have the clutch in, you want it in first, and you want to be on one extreme side or the other of the car in front of you at a red light stop sign, whatever, so that uh, you see a car coming up too fast behind you, 
and let off the clutch slowly. And your right leg, the reason why it's up, it's on your back brake uh, to keep the motorcycle still, plus have your tail light on uh, so they can, you know, a little extra notification that you're there. And if they don't see you and you notice that, then you can just barely put on the gas and boom, you're to the left or right of that car and you're out of the way uh, when they slam the, to the back of that other car. But anyway, for more, more tri tips and tricks, anyway, <laughs> you know, give us a follow on Twitter. Check out our Patreon members group and we will see you on the charts.